Dudes looking to shred fat. Now the problem that we mostly have with us is that we go through these phases of feasting and then famine. Is that we tend to famine because we're like, hey, I'm feeling a little fat. I need to lose some body fat. I want to see my stomach go away. So I'm going to go from eating a ton of food and to go to eating just protein shakes. And then what ends up happening is that we do this for like a day and we get back to our daily routine. We get back to the gym. We get back to moving and then we get extremely hungry. So then some of us might be able to power through and then lose a little bit of weight. But then what ends up happening to us is that we lose a little bit of weight and all of a sudden we feel too skinny and then we feel like we need to bulk. And so when we need to bulk, we end up overeating because we're like, hey, I lost like 12 pounds. I'm too skinny now. My t-shirts don't fit. Like my biceps aren't as big. And so we go into the straight panic mode and we're like, okay, well, I'm just going to forget about everything that I've done over the past three to four weeks. And I'm going to go into this major fasting or, or major feasting where we eat a ton of bad calories. We're like, okay, I lost 10 pounds. So yeah, I should probably go and eat, you know, like two bowls of ice cream. I should probably carb up, you know, so I better eat some French fries and have a Whopper, et cetera, et cetera. And then we put on all this like calories in our body only to gain a bunch of fat that then a couple months down the road, we continue with this cycle because it's easier to eat bad food than it is to eat good food, but we continuously work out, but slowly it creeps up and we're back to that cycle where we're like, I've gotten too fat, I need to drop some body fat, so what do I need to do? Go back on the extreme diet that worked on me before and then rinse and repeat this cycle. And this is the problem that we have as men, is that we continuously get back on a cycle of you know, gaining muscle, but then we spill over into fat. So then we're like, okay, I need to shred down. So we do this extreme shredding and then we shred down way too much. And then we get this like body dysmorphia where we're like, okay, now we need to pack on the weight again. And then we go back to eating junk food and we gain a bunch of fat that we end up having to lose. And we're always in and around the same five to 10 pounds of losing each and every year. And so what ends up happening is that we look the same. We work out every day and 10 years down the road, we look exactly the same as we did 10 years ago. Might have put on a little bit more weight because we've gained a little bit more muscle, but from the eyes perspective, we look exactly the same. So when it comes to dudes and starting off with a meal prep and a shredding meal prep, we always have to find the right amount of calories that keeps you fed, but never full and definitely never starving. Why never full is because now we're getting back into that spilling over into fat problem. Why never famished is because as soon as we get hungry, we get snacky, right? Like we have a lot of muscle, we move around a lot, we lift heavy weights. And so when we start snacking, our snacks turn into full course meals. And so we can never get to fasting or famished and we can never get to full. We always want to be okay. And some of you, especially if you're used to eating more calories, what ends up happening is we can't drop your calories immediately. We have to start your week off and do a slight pull down towards the middle of the week, and then we're gonna ramp you back up. So for you, that we wanna make sure that we are gonna drop some body fat and maybe a little bit of weight while keeping our muscle and never feeling like we're hungry is that we would start you with the higher calories. But I would tell you, that those calories, you don't necessarily have to eat them all. So what I wanna do is never get you full. So if I tell you your first Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I want you eating 3000 calories. And then you message me at around 6 p.m. It's like, RJ, I've only eaten 2000 calories. I'm absolutely stuffed. I would wanna assess what you're doing with your food because I wanna take a look at fiber. Okay, a lot of times, and especially these days, a lot of the healthier foods are now fiber infused. The other day I ate 4,000 calories, so it's like on my peak phase, and I ate 4,000 calories. Of those 4,000 calories, there were 71 grams of fiber. And the reason why there was so much fiber is because I was eating two bowls of the cereal that is like low carb, but high protein, but it's also fiber infused. And then I was eating the Carbonaut fiber infused bread where it's low carb, high protein, 
And what happens is you combine the two of those, that's already almost like 28 to 30 grams of fiber. And then everything else, the spinach, by the end of the night, I just couldn't get my stomach to settle down. And the reason being is because my fiber was way too high. So guys, when we start eating, and especially when we start eating more foods, we have to be aware of the fiber intake. And so your fiber intake, if you're getting it from natural sources, should be about one to 2% of your daily caloric intake. So if your goal is to get 3000 calories, then I would tell you that about 30 grams of natural fiber is where you wanna be. If you're eating 3000 calories and you're getting like 50, 60 grams of fiber, but you're not able to get to your 3000 calories because you've eaten you know, 30 to 60 grams of fiber and that's at 2000, 2000 calorie mark, then what ends up happening is you're just feeling way too full. Now, this is a good method if we're trying to cut down your calories significantly and keep you fuller with less, but in the case of making sure that we don't lose too much weight too fast and that we maintain our muscle while we're dropping fat, then we wanna make sure that we're hitting that 3000 calories without overfilling ourselves with fiber, okay? Because you can fill up on too much of the good things. And people often say that it's too expensive to eat healthy. But if you think about it, the healthy foods keep you fuller longer. And so if I were to eat just junk food for 3000 calories, I'd have no issues eating 3000 calories in ice cream. I, in fact, I could probably do that in one bowl. You can do that in your Starbucks drinks today if you want. Go get the triple pump caramel. You can easily suck that down. But to ask you to eat 3000 calories of fibrous rich foods, it's just not gonna happen. So it's actually cheaper to eat healthier foods than it is to eat the junk foods. But in the case of trying to keep mass on, like muscle mass while dropping your body fat, we have to make sure we're not eating too much of those healthy infused foods because it's gonna make us full without actually hitting our caloric goal. So we're gonna start you off higher with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday with the higher calories. And then Thursday, or maybe even Friday, if you're conditioned for lower calories, I would actually shoot you down to 2,500 calories. So if we're never full or stuffed or stuffed or starved at the higher calories, that means that we found a good number. We're gonna do a slight cut so that your body starts to dip into your fat cells a little bit further because it's a bigger caloric deficit, but it's not massive. And good news is we're not gonna hold you there for too long. So Thursday, Friday, 2,500 calories. And then Saturday, Sunday, let's boost you back up. Now, when we boost you back up, we wanna know, can we keep you in a slight caloric deficit so that we can dip a little bit more into that fat cells? I would put you at 2,800 calories if you can handle that little bit of hunger. Remember, there's a hunger scale from zero to 10. So we always want you sitting around a six or seven, okay? So if we're on a six or seven and we do a slight caloric cut, that'll bring you down to a six, okay? I would like to sit you at a six into your first week. Now, if you did the 2,500 calories for two days and you're like, I'm crazy, I wanna eat my arm off. And we get like that. Guys just instantly get hungry, we're bears. And so what ends up happening is, you know, I don't wanna cut you even 200 calories. I wanna get you back up to that 3,000 calories where you're okay. So there you go, start to end first week for a dude that burns a lot of calories, has a lot of muscle, doesn't ever wanna get hungry, and should never really get full. We start the week off high calories at 3,000, we do a slight cut at 2,500 calories Thursday, Friday, and then we boost you back up at 28 if you can be a little bit hungry, or if you're starting to feel the hunger because of the caloric deficit, then we go up a little bit higher at 3,000 calories. Now this method works for women as well. I just want to use a higher caloric burn because most women that I work with, maybe out of like my 100 belly burners that I coach at any given time, I would say maybe five of them actually are burning over 2,500 calories. And these are women that are working out three to four times a day. So for you as a woman, if you watch this video right to the end, then we would just scale this down. So you might be 2,000, you might cut off 1,000 calories because you're not six foot one, you know, 190 pounds. So this technique will work for women in their first week. But for dudes, this is the exact formula I'd give to you. Now, is this perfect for you? No, because not everybody's burning the same amount of calories. They're not the same age. They don't have the same amount of muscle and they're not all doing the same kinds of workouts. And so if you're looking for something customized and personalized to you, whether you're a member or non-member, 
go to our website, www.fitclub.fit. Send us a message, Bellyburn, and we'll get you started today.